Hi Scorpio, welcome to Psychic Consultants. My name is Agatha and this is your full year reading for 2016. I'm going to be laying three rows of four cards and um, with each card representing a month, kind of quite loosely. Um, and then I'm going to pull one card from this Tantric Dakini Oracle for a kind of overview or kind of theme or advice card. So, shall we go? We have the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Nine of Swords. The King of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Empress, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, just push these up so making sure you can see them all. Right, so starting off the year with the Page of Wands, and for me the Page of Wands is, it's quite a youthful kind of optimistic energy. Um, it's as though you've just found your, you've just found your fire, You've just found your passion because wands are fire. So it's like, and the way that this guy's kind of like looking at the wand, it's like you've just realised your potential, basically, and getting that you're kind of feeling a bit as though you can um, get out there with the kind of new energy and like this newfound kind of knowledge and... It's like, it's a bit like, oh, look at this toy that I've gotten. It is a wand. Wands are representative of fire, but they're also kind of magic, you know, like your magic wand. And it's like, oh, well, I've got this thing that I can do some work with and get on with. And it's just like, you found qualities in yourself that you want to put out there. And so you're just... You, you, you're getting a hold of that and you're kind of making plans about what you can do and feeling really optimistic about taking that energy and getting it out there. So really planning that um, could be like a, a new project. It's kind of like a passion, passion thing. So it could be a relationship, a project, it's just like there's something going on in your life that you feel really passionate about and you feel like you have all the things that you need to really go for it. And then moving into around February time, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a huge card of abundance and I feel like you're just going to feel really on top of the world. Um, and whatever this kind of new energy is or idea that you have it's going to be really fruitful um, and there is a bit of a new beginning that I'm getting with this it's just it's this new kind of thing there's a new idea that you're having and it's got and it's it's like this energy behind it it's it's it could be big like it could be um, something quite life-changing and and yeah I think that's gonna kind of pervade that story of this kind of new idea that you have or it might just be like the idea of yourself that you have and it's like wow this is my value it's like your self-worth is really 
you just understand it and you're like, wow, I am this ace of pentacles. I am worthy. And this is going to kind of permeate the whole year. And you'll, I think you're going to need it around kind of like March, April time because there are these two big um, kind of ending death change worry kind of card. Because of, we have this Nine of Swords, we have the Death card. And then because we have this, this Nine of Swords next to it, I'm taking it that it's going to be quite a big event that's going to feel quite negative to you um but it's more that that's your um your perception of it so there's going to be this huge change and transformation that comes about maybe because you're really stepping up in and knowing your self-worth and you're putting yourself out there and with all these new ideas that you're having and maybe it's like you just have these new ideas about yourself but what happens is it really shakes up your life and maybe your relationships um, and quite quickly this new self-worth that you have means that you you might perceive a bit of loss um, but it's more just that you know things need to die to make way for the new and I always use the analogy of um, trees, deciduous trees that lose their leaves in um, the winter seasons and then re-emerge in the spring. It's like the tree doesn't worry when its leaves start falling off in the autumn and it, throughout the winter when it hasn't any leaves. It doesn't think that that's wrong. It doesn't judge that. It's just a cycle of life. And this is what this death card is. So around March and April, it's like you, you this kind of period of, I've, it feels like a grief period, um, but it's all for your transformation. And I do feel as though it's, it, it's just the fallout from this new sense of knowing your, power and what you really want and who you really are it's not even about what you want it's like who you really are so you um you really go for you just go for it you're just being different and it just causes a bit of a fallout and you it is gonna and but it's just your perceptions if you can change your perception that kind of fallout and change is okay yes it can be a bit scary and it and it will be it's like you just won't really have any solid ground and you will worry about it but um it will pass everything passes the spring always comes so you know if it feels a bit wintry and emotionally around these months just don't don't just let it be let it be because then moving into may we have the king of swords and you just get this huge amount of clarity that comes out of the of that and I think you'll look back and any loss that occurs around these months, you'll look back and just be like, oh, that was just the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, when you kind of get out of a relationship and you're like, what was I thinking? That was just so not me. Um, and this King of Swords will just be this huge, his sword just like cuts through all the rubbish and um, just... It's like you will, coupled with this ace here, it's like you're getting a lot of mental clarity about things in your life um, and what you want and feeling very solid with your the way that you see the world and understand the world and the practicalities of it and the action that you need to take. And, um, and yeah, all this... Sometimes, you know, people say, don't worry, you, there's nothing that worry can do. And that is kind of true. But at the same time, because it's following on from the, this nine of swords here, it's just like this kind of period where you stop and are just this mental anguish, which isn't doesn't have to be necessary. But this it's more like 
I'm getting it like you're just stopping and thinking about things and at the time it's going to feel a bit you look when you look at it it's going to look kind of negative but you will realize very quickly that you some truth will come out of that and you will just be ready to speak your truth and be your truth and act your truth um because the king is you know, he's the king, the king of, of the swords and, and of knowledge and intellect. And you're just really grasping that about yourself. And I think then you, you really put that energy, so this is moving into around June period, into, you can, into work. I'm, and, and it's just that I think there's going to be a bit of a career focus around this period of time and you're just going to be really feeling really bolstered and because this is like connected to this ace of pentacles here it's like you're going to feel like you're really fruitful like you're really um creating things and you're looking back and you're feeling quite good about yourself so um so yeah this um this this kind of period of anguish here was a good um thing for you uh, because you just got all this clarity and then you, when you get that clarity then you're able to see oh yeah I'm actually achieving quite a lot here you 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 can be a bit nicer to yourself and you can have a, a more positive outlook about the things you're achieving and that will happen I, and I feel like it's going to be kind of a work it's like work will be good and work will make you feel good and that will keep you kind of going or whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis it doesn't have to be work but there's kind of things that you you know whether you're a mother or or whatever your kind of day-to-day -day, um what you spend your time doing will just be very fruitful and will make you feel good and then moving into july we have the queen of swords which i'm taking to be that whether you're male or you're female, because we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and there could be a work connection here. This is a partnership, um, a partnership of some kind, of a very strong um, kind of thinking, mental um, partnership. It could be a romantic partnership. It could be a friendship. I, it could be a work thing um, or career thing um, because it's with this pentacles seven of pentacles in the middle but we have this king and queen but it's a it's a very strong partnership that you will be in um around that may emerge around this period or even around this whole kind of um may june july these are so kind of around that that period and just it's like this person's going to meet you at your level and it's just going to be where you are and this clarity that you have. You meet someone that, and I do feel like it's a new thing, you meet someone that's just going to be like, wow, you're talking my language. These two, you know, they're, they're, they're on the same page. They're speaking the same language and, and um, you'll find that person and that will be really, you'll just, that'll just feel really good to you. You'll have a partner in crime. And and then I feel as though there's a kind of new that energy kind of ends. Um, it's like you've been on a bit of a kind of journey. And there's a new something comes in um, around August, and I'm and get yes I'm I do think that there will be some travel of some kind or it's just like suddenly you want to broaden your horizons and I think it's going to be connected to this actually say it's a new and saying it's new energy but I do think it is connected to this partnership here and there is some juggling that literally as the as it says on the card is some juggling that needs to um, happen but because there's the infinity symbol on this card I really feel that this partnership this new partnership is going to be very strong and it's going to um, once you've kind of developed and strengthened and created that partnership it's going to encourage you to really spread out even further so this kind of newfound real understanding of your of your self-worth and these ideas that you have and, and and really understanding 
your value when you come together in this partnership it's like there's another wave of energy that comes in where you want to take that further and travel with it so it might not necessarily be be um actual physical travel but it will be a kind of broadening of your horizons even further because of the strength of this partnership and taking some action with it and then I again I do see moving into this um, last third of the year in September there could be like another little a little bit of fallout because of that it's that I'm getting this kind of energy that you you take act, these big quite a few couple of big changes are occurring um, first one around come February time the second one around August this where the energy kind of kicks in um, where you start embodying um, this kind of new you it's like all this new kind of perspective and each time there's some fallout the first big fallouts kind of March and April and then from the second one in September we have a little bit of a, a fallout I think here where you'll just see here you've you've kind of like stepped out of line um, in a good way it's like you stepped forward you don't need to be kind of in line you, you're putting yourself out there but people may have reacted to that and so you get a bit defensive and it might just knock your confidence but don't let it knock your confidence just stand your ground and um, let let it be as it is just just carry on and keep going and just be aware though that some people might may may just you know when you put yourself out there you're out there for some criticism and and some people that are close to you you know you might lose some people again that just liked you the way that you were um and now they they're just not that happy that you've become more powerful really and just more more authentic it's like you're really being more authentic. Because then after that, we have one my favourite card in this deck, which is the Empress. Which is just, I feel as though you're just going to move into a restful period towards the end of the year, October, November. It's just a very fertile, abundant beautiful um time if you're female and you're trying this could be a pregnancy because i'm kind of coupling her with a hanged man which i'm seeing to be a little bit of kind of um chilling out and rest that's going to be needed that you might not be have to and maybe a little bit of um illness but more um if it's related to a pregnancy more around that kind of thing or if there's nothing like that going on it's just that you are really celebrating and just being in your you know in your in, like relaxing in your garden of life and everything that's going on it's just things are blooming everything's great you feel really good and you're completely okay to just for you know for for a a month around a whole period of a month just kind of hang out in this hang out in your garden in in your kind of abundant beautiful um place that that you you kind of step into here and and i see i did the energy i feel just very relaxed very relaxed it's just that over um october november just a very kind of smooth um easy um time um which you might need because then at the end of the year and i feel as though it's going to kind of move I, i'm interested to know what this energy here is because it just kind of ends here but um so it, for december um we have the seven of wands and it's as though it all kind of just gets going again um and there's some resistance and you're really feeling like you're going to have to dig your heels in again so um so yes just and and I feel as though it's the right thing to do to just kind of go okay this is my time to 
fight for what I believe in. Um, and, and I do think it's all around this kind of, this new vision and, and kind of, it's like in January you have this kind of vision of you, it's like you discover yourself, you discover a part of yourself that you weren't really aware of before and it's a bit like of an aha moment and then you just are really solid in this um, self-worth, ace, ace of pentacles. This It's like you are, you're like, oh wow, I didn't even know my value and now I get it. And it it just means that it's almost like you're a new person and the some people in your life or some circumstances they're just going to be there's going to be reaction to that and so there's going to be some great things going on a really interesting partnership here in the middle of the year um and you're going to feel generally really good because the growth is just going to go up and up and up and up but every time you kind of take a step up there's a little bit of fallout that you're going to have to deal with but if you're ready for, for that it will not necessarily have to be a problem and that will be fine so I'm just going to take a card from the Tantric Dakini Oracle which is a new deck for me so I have to refer to the guidebook just to um clarify for these they're very interesting we'll see which one comes comes out they're very different cards to some of the ones that you've seen quite difficult to shuffle so we'll just take one of these okay so we've got i'll put this as close as i can as clear as i can a amusement um and it seems to be like a little bit of some kind of orgy going on here. So I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to, I'll have a look for clarification. And it's number 38. It says, Amusement bears the number 38, signifying the female power principle, Shakti, channeled along an occult path of fulfilment. According to the classification by elements, this is a fire card. The promise of pleasure and fulfilment, the real integration of sensual and spiritual aspects of nature. So, yeah, I do take this to be quite, I mean, Scorpio, you are kind of like the sex sign of the Zodiac. So I do feel that this is um, just confirmation of you really stepping into your alignment with your authentic self. And you're not afraid to put that out there no matter who that is because I think sometimes because you know Scorpio you can have a bit of a sting in your tail um, and I think that's a good thing it's really important to communicate kind of what's going on and maybe you've just been kind of biting your tongue and not letting people know that you do have a sting and 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 I think it's not like you're going to go around stinging people all the time, but it's just that people need to know that you can't be pushed too far. And I think this year is the year when you just really step into that. And, you know, people if people start to push your buttons, you're just going to say no. And some people might not be too happy with that and might react in a slightly, you know, difficult way, but that's their issue, it's not yours. Cool, so um, that's that for this year. If you'd like a private year reading or a reading of any kind, um, please email me at agathapsychic at gmail.com. Um, otherwise, I will be doing some monthly readings. I will be doing a reading for January and putting that up pretty soon. So if you'd like to get that as I upload it, please do um, subscribe. Otherwise, have a great end of 2015. Lots of love for 2016. Stand your ground. And I shall see you soon. Take care.